Well, good day, everyone. I hope everything's going well. We have a Jeep. Who doesn't like doing a Jeep? This one, unlike the last one we did, is getting a full system. Bunch of goodies. So we got a Kicker Comp RT, a 1330, a Kenwood Marine 5 channel amplifier, some punch speakers. And in this one, the thing that is going to be the most time consuming is the backup camera. Let's go take a look back there real quick. So he's got these wheels here, and the problem is that um, when it's screwed in, see how these nut pattern is? None of them allow these holes to be perfectly straight. So while it's mounted on the back of the Jeep, there's no way for us to put a camera at 12 o'clock, not even six o'clock. It's like they're all weird. We have to come up with a different idea. He also uses his hitch, so unlike the last one, we can't just do a hitch cam. So this is what we've come up with so far. He's got one of these cool Jeeps with this giant, you know, don't mess with me bumper. And we have this, this is a hole. This actually, there's, you know, there's space here. Now we don't want to drill into this because just like this, it, it would just rust eventually and then this would look terrible. Plus this would just probably burn up a bunch of my drill bits. So what we're planning on doing is we're actually gonna take this, this is the Pioneer camera, and we're gonna make a mount that brings the camera out of here, just like this. So to accomplish that, we're gonna put a panel that slides up underneath here. There's actually a hole here and here in the back panel that we're gonna bolt to. And then we're going to make a mount for this that just slides in through the front and then we'll be able to drill it in, let's say through these top two corners to the back plate. And then the camera is gonna be mounted like this. So we'll be able to still do some angling to get it the way we want. So that's the plan right now. Fernando's getting started putting the speakers in while I get this ready, cause then we'll trade places and he'll go ahead and start running the wires up front and then I'll figure out you know, where we're gonna put the amp at. It has the infinity system. There's an amplifier underneath the steering column that we need to integrate into for all the speakers. So let's get started. mounted and we've gone ahead and made this guy right here so what this is gonna do is it's got two holes here there's two 10 millimeter bolts that are in the plastic piece we mounted so this piece is gonna come up through the hole and then bolt into place and it's gonna sit just like this and the camera just sticks out of the W there in the bumper and of course it's already angled if we need to we can angle it a little bit more up or down we've zip tied up the wire we've got it insulated here so we're gonna go ahead and get it in the hole go you can see there's the bolts back here these guys these guys right back here there's one on either side that's holding it in place frames up pretty nice uh, it does stick out a little bit but that's so that we can see behind the tire and that the tire isn't all in the shot if we needed to we could recess it more but I wanted it to stick out a little bit so that we could have some adjustment and also be able to see the ball when he puts the ball hitch on if you stick it in too far then you'll just see this. I wanna make sure it's out far enough so that you can clear the tire that's like way out here.
Next on the list of things to do is get this tweeter mounted into the factory tweeter pod. Now, fortunately in this particular Jeep, the tweeter pod comes out, which is nice because a lot of the times it doesn't and you have to do all this inside of the car and it's a really a pain in the butt. So the way this Rockford tweeter mounts it, it has a front piece here that goes like this and a back piece that goes up behind it. What we need to do first is make this hole a little bigger so that this will fit into the front. And to do that, we're just gonna use our auger bit and start grinding away. Now what we need to do is remove this piece here from the rest of the circle. So we end up with is just the basic U and we're gonna use that to lock this in place. And we have to make the bolt a little shorter. All right, let's screw it in. And now what you have is the speaker cup is mounted in there. We just need to go ahead and get our tweeter wired in. Go ahead and pull the tweeter wires apart. Just kind of pull them in. It'll snap in place just like that. And now you just have this that needs to come in. Now what you want to do on this is this tip right here. You want to back sand it a little bit. Put like a 30 degree on it. All right, so it's at a nice little point like that. And now we can just go ahead and snap it on. There we go, we have our tweeter mounted. All we gotta do is go ahead and insulate up the wire and get it back into the car. Now one of the unique things about the Rockford Punch Series components is how they build the crossover. You know, we've talked about it before, those big crossover boxes and how they're just, a, they're kind of a pain. Well, Rockford makes two versions of the punch speaker, one with an external crossover and one with an internal crossover. And what I mean by that is see the back of the speaker, see how it has two sets of leads? So on one side of the speaker, you have the input, positive, negative. And then on the other side, where it says TWT, this is your tweeter output, positive and negative. So what they've done is they've actually hidden the crossover inside of the basket. That's why it's got this funky shape to it, I'm assuming, and so that that gave them room to hide the caps and whatnot inside of the frame of the speaker. So what that means now is when you go to mount your speaker in your enclosure, you have to run the tweeter wires out. So you have your power wire coming in, as you see here, now what Fernando's doing is he's gonna go ahead and drill a hole in this so he can run his tweeter wires out and that'll go up to the tweeters in the dash. Just like this right here, so we'll be able to plug in the tweeter and we won't be using the factory for anything. So we'll just zip tie it up and tuck it back into the hole here. 